senior officials from Bank of Uganda, the Inspectorate of Government and Office of the Auditor General, who were led by their respective heads of these institutions, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Commission Statutory Authorities and State Enterprises. The committee is investigating the 6 billion shillings payout to 42 government officials for their role in the successful oil tax cases in London against two oil companies. Bank of Uganda Governor Tumusime Mutebile and his team were to be questioned on the status of the petroleum fund, but the meeting was postponed to allow the central bank harmonize with ministries of information and energy as well as the Uganda Revenue Authority. The second team from the office of the Auditor General was led by the head John Muanga. He told the MPs that his office got to know of the 6 billion shillings for the so-called presidential handshake from the finance ministry, but the money had already been spent by then. So by the time for us to issue our warrant in November, all the authorizations and whatnot had, that had been necessary had been taken care of. You see that the, the funds being requested for had already been appropriated for? Did you have the appropriation bill? If the requisition for the warrant are in order, it is very difficult for us to refuse. In other words, if we are to refuse, we would need to first undertake an audit. For example, if it's something for an emergency and you refuse, then we are taking an executive decision. The Auditor General also explained that the Finance Ministry indicated that URA had budget of 117 billion shillings, but the 6 billion shillings had to be considered urgently. The minister looked at the 6 billion as the priority. Inspector General of Government Justice Irene Moriagonja's interaction with the committee centered on explaining solicitation of reward by civil servants and matters of conflict of interest. Some of the all cash beneficiaries accused of committing these crimes. This shows us that we need to have very stringent measures for checking conflicts of interest. With regard to corruption in government, it is where we should focus our efforts. That is, in maintaining processes that are clean and transparent. Justice Muria Gonja said no one is above the law and stressed that even the president had directed the government officials involved in the oil tax cases be rewarded for a good job. That had to be done in accordance with the law. He is not above the law and it has been demonstrated before. When the law uses the word fountain of honor, it could be used that is the authority to be used to handle cases like this. Whatever he does is supposed to be right. That is what it means by fountain of honor. The fact that he is supposed to do right all the time does not mean that we should take advantage of that and exploit him. I have not known that the president has ever said do something against the law. It, all, it is always, yes, you can go ahead and do it, but can you please follow the law? The committee continues its public hearings on Tuesday as the MPs interact with yet another set of public officials. More research on oh, Thank you very much. I do wish you all the best in uh, concluding this.